Hello, I'm Graham and I hope everyone's having a great day and welcome to today's video. Now this video is a continuation of yesterday's video in which we were talking about the zoom modes of the Panasonic Lumix bridge cameras. So we had the iZoom, the extended optical zoom and the digital zoom and I hope you saw in that video that we could get some fairly decent quality by using either the iZoom or the expanded optical zoom. Now in today's video I want to look at the same features on the compact systems cameras. Now they don't support the eye zoom as that's reserved for the bridge camera but they do support the extended optical and the digital zoom. Now the extended optical zoom is one that is likely to trip most people up and some people probably don't even recognize that there is the extended optical zoom on these particular cameras. So I hope to demonstrate that today and the quality of the images that you can actually get from this camera. So for example here with the Panasonic Lumix G9 I've got the 12 to 32 lens on here. But using the extended optical uh, medium setting in the 4K mode I can actually get 34 to 90 millimeters effective focal length. And if I was to shoot in 1080p mode then I can get 48 to 128. So you can see I've got quite a variety of zoom lens just from the kit lens. If you want to consider longer focal length lenses like this Olympus 40 to 150 then in the 1080p mode I can get something like 600mm effective focal length from the lens or just over 400mm if I'm shooting in the 4K mode, uh, photo mode, not the video mode where we've got the extra times 1.7 crop. Now to enable the extended optical zoom we need to go into the record setup menu and it'll be different with each of the cameras but essentially it's in the record setup menu and you're looking for one called extended teleconverter. Now in the stills mode you've got the three options there of off, teleconverter or zoom. Now if you select the teleconverter it's a fixed times two zoom uh, operation. So your 24 millimeter lens becomes a 48 millimeter lens. In the zoom setting it means you can actually use the touch screen to change the amount of zoom from times one to times 1.4. So that's a more useful range. Uh, you're limiting the amount of uh, digital zoom you're applying to the image and you can get some cracking results from these larger sensor cameras. In the video mode you've only got the option of the extended teleconverter so you're using the times two setting to give you a boost to your focal length when you're shooting video and you'll see some of the results of that later in this video. Now it depends on the camera as to the size of image you'll get but if the camera is 4k enabled so like the G85, the G9 you'll find that the extended optical will actually coincide to a 4K setting of 3840 by 2160 or a 1920 by 1080 which are the equivalents of uh, HD and UHD uh, format so they actually scale to give you perfect pictures within your uh, video file. Now here on screen I'm going to show you some images shot with the 40 to 150 lens on the G9 in the stills mode and first of all without any optical zoom applied so we're just using the native sensor resolution in the large we've got the 14.5 in the medium we've got the 4k size and in the small we've got the uh, 1920 by 1080 so these are the native files from the camera now I'm going to switch over and show you what happens when you enable the extended teleconverter option which applies the times two now the images on screen now are with the extended M position and the extended S position. The first one gives you the 3840 by 2160 file, so that's a 4K file, with a times 2 extension on there. So a 150mm lens becomes effectively 600mm when you apply the times 2 micro four thirds crop and the times 2 extended M crop. We can actually use the digital zoom on these cameras to good effect as well. Unlike the eye zoom on the bridge cameras, there's no additional processing in either of these options. So you're using your own internal processor, using the photo styles, or you can actually post process these images to the way that you want to get your final result. So in the case of the digital zoom, we can either select times two or select times four. And you can use this with the large format. So you can use this with a 14.5 megapixel image. And then again, add your times two or times four zoom to that. Or you can use it with the M position, or you can use it with the extended M position and add digital zoom to that. So you can get some super long telephoto shots 
if you are preferred to suffer a little bit of image degradation. Now, a lot really depends on the use of your final file. If you're going to be using these images for printing, then you want to use the zoom position where you can control the zoom up to times 1.4. And that gives you some superb images as you've seen on the screen. If you're using them for web pages, then you can actually use the extended M plus the uh, extended teleconversion to give you a times two zoom, or you can use digital zoom times two or times four to give you a combination to get some super long 1600 millimeter shots if you wanted to. But again, it depends on the size of the images you want to display on the web page. Now, if you consider shooting video, the scene becomes a little bit more complex. For example, with the GH3, you can't use the extended teleconverter with a 50p or 60p frame rate. It will only work with the 25p rate. So if you're using it with a GH3, um, there is a work around that and you can use, instead of the extended teleconverter edition, use the times two digital zoom and that gives you the same effect and again you get some good results from that times two digital with the 1920 by 1080 mode with the later cameras from the gh4 and above you've got the option there to use the full frame rates even in um, 4k mode you can shoot with the extended tele option or use times two or times four digital zoom depending again on your output needs but you can get some superb video by using the extended uh, M position in 4K to give you an extra times two on top of the times 1.4 crop of the 4K uh, video mode. So there we are, that's how to use the extended optical and the digital zoom on your compact systems cameras. Now I hope that's been useful. If you're a new viewer, please do click that subscribe button. It really does help. And if you want to share these videos, that would be great and fantastic news for me. So have a look at my photographic blog. There's lots more information on extended optical zoom, digital zoom and eye zoom for the bridge cameras under the photo talk page. And I'll put a link to that in the video description below. And also on the home page of the blog, you'll find the application to join my newsletter group. Now that goes out to over 2,600 people every three weeks. And it's more than a newsletter. It's almost a technical publication in its own right. And it's things that I don't publish on the blog as a way of saying thank you for your subscription to the newsletter. So do check that out, and if you've not already subscribed, please do do so. So, until my next video, thanks again for watching. Please do take care, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.